you wanted to introduce us. Hi. We just got out of the theater for uh, the Scorch Trials, Maze Runner 2. We actually did double feature just because I thought it'd be fun. AMC here did a double feature, Maze Runner 1 and 2. And she hadn't seen Maze Runner 1, so I was like, eh, it's not great art, but we'll go. We'll make a night of it. We'll hang out at the theater. We'll get popcorn and soda, even though we never do that. And we'll have fun. And, uh, you know. Well, what do you think of the first one? Let's go with the first one real fast. I thought it was amazing. You thought it was amazing? Yeah. Wow. The maze. The Except maze. Those wild animals. Beaches are kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, the concept is cool. I do wish there was more spent in the maze in the first one, but I kind of enjoy it for what it is. The ending is a giant just WTF, what the hell. And it makes it really hard to even come close to recommending that movie because that ending is just such a... That movie just falls apart in that ending hard. Um, you have anything else you want to say about the first one? Those big spiders, super cold creeps. Reavers. Reavers. Yeah, they had big spiders. Yeah, yeah so the first one... Really? It's big. it's fine. I'm afraid um, I like the whole mystery, you know, who am I, what's going on, type deal. But uh, yeah, in the end, I'm not. Um, oh, the back windows are open. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, the ending really falls apart. The ending is a w, giant WTF moment. So now we're going to go into the second one. Now, like I said, the ending of the first one is it's huge WTF moment. The second one feels to me like this series of WTF moments. It just keeps on going and going. Um, and it also feels like this this slapdash of, ooh, what can we throw in here? Um, to be perfectly honest, I am shocked. This is the first movie to combine YA novels with zombies. But yeah, this is totally, they, they totally have zombies in here. I'm like, oh yeah, th both those things are really popular. Um... I'm surprised they don't have a superhero in this one. I wonder what what company makes this movie. I don't know off the top of my head. What superheroes do they have? Uh, they are just they. It's such a slapdash. Um, it really this. In my opinion, the second one was, the first one was infinitely more entertaining than the second one. Which is not very good, because the first one is a seriously flawed movie. <laughs> um, what, what do you want to say about the second one? It's that zombies scare me. Especially when they look really, really real like that. Sorry, I just had to... I just wanted to roll up the window so we weren't getting so much out right side you noise. Know, the the real looking zombies. Yes. They look to yeah, they are totally computer generated though. Um actually I will say this, computer animation in this movie looked really good. Um it was the motion that gave away that it was computer generated, but like um the textures were great. Um totally rendered. Me I mean the, the remember the rat? Yeah. The rat, you could tell from its movements, it's totally fake. But you look at the texture, you look at the hair on it, maybe maybe it'll fall apart when I see it on Blu-ray. But I was looking at it like, that looks fucking... Oh, God, I shouldn't say bad words with you right there. But that looks so good. Um, uh, yeah. Just to tell you, they looked too real. <laughs> I'm out <of> creep. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, okay, so... What do you, did you like the second one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to say I did it. Um, it was it was just such. I mean, oh, Judgment Night. Essentially, that's what this one is with zombies and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll go into here in a moment. But if you've seen Judgment Night, um, memory serves. It's like Emilio Estevez, Cuba Gooding Jr., Jeremy Piven, I think they witness a murderer, and then the mob boss, who I think is Dennis Leary. Forgive me if I get some of the names wrong. It's been over 10 years since I've seen that movie. They're just running from him, and that's the whole movie. It's like, oh, they're almost here. Oh, we got away. Oh, they're almost here. 
oh, we got away. And that's the whole movie. And that's this whole movie, um, pretty much. They, they keep on getting themselves in situations, and oh, we almost got away. With a lot of uh, TV stars and uh, a couple movie stars at the end. Um, at the beginning of the movie, they have uh, Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. I don't know the actor's name, but he's after... <laughs> He's he's like the first bad guy they encounter, and then they escape him, and then they encounter the bad guy from Breaking Bad. I don't remember the character's name, but it, the main bad guy there isn't Walter White, the guy that Walter White kills to take over, and uh, I guess mild spoilers for Breaking Bad there, sorry. Um... <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad yet, you, you shouldn't have watched Breaking Bad. That's a great series. Anyway, um, what else do you have to say? Happy Constitution Day! What? <laughs> Constitution Day? It's Constitution Day? It's the birthday Day? Of, our, of our laws that make America a better place. I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it's Constitution Day. Anyway, so they encounter the bad guy from Breaking Bad. And he ends up not being so bad, although he's kind of acting like a bad guy at the beginning. And then they journey with him. And and then we, uh, and then who do we encounter? Oh, yeah, they encounter Alan Tudyk. I had no idea Alan Tudyk was in this. Um, damn, I, he actually gives a good performance. He's not in much of the movie, but at the very beginning, he's like, obviously this guy who's, who's uh, messed up. But he, he, he has this, like, look in his eyes like he is, like, disturbed and scarred and covering it up. And he's a total villain. He's a total bad guy. But it adds, like, dimension. It's, like, good. I'll, I'll totally give props for Alan Tudyk. He makes the most of just this very minor role. That was, that, that was actually a really good performance. I liked it. Um, and then uh, they escape from Alan Tudyk. And then they, get, and then they uh, encounter Barry Pepper and Lily Taylor. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, they're just running across. It's like guest star one, number one, guest star number two, guest star number three. Um, and on their adventures, they encounter uh, Chicago from Transformers Dark of the Moon because they encounter this building that's fallen into another building. And so they travel through that, of course, because what you do when that happens, you travel through it, of course. And then they encounter... Uh, the scene in The Lost World where Julianne Moore's on the glass that's slowly breaking. Um, they aren't even particularly borrowing from great movies, man. These are these are mediocre to bad movies. And then uh, there's that, something else. That, that, that glass kept on breaking when she was trying to get out of it. Yeah, which is exactly what happened in The Lost World Jurassic Park. Um, I guess if you're going to borrow, borrow from Steven Spielberg and... Michael Bay, and yes. Chris Columbus, because they have, when they go see Alan Tudyk, they have a variation of the Percy Jackson thing in the first Percy Jackson movie, where, you know, it's like, you get drunk, and then you party, and it's a total trap. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> one last name. What? It's that. I remember that. The T-Rex was trying to kill him in the van. <laughs> Oh, you're and talking. She fell yeah. Against the glass. She's she's remembering the scene. Yeah, it's the RV hanging over the cliff. And then uh, I I really almost feel like I could go through maybe like a dozen, maybe two dozen movies, cut clips out, edit them together, and you'd get something very similar to the 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 Maze Runner two here, the Scorch Trials. <sighs> to be perfectly honest, I almost like it as a YA parody, as a self-serious YA parody, doesn't quite work on that level. But I almost like it. I almost appreciate it on that level. It's it's so much just throwing stuff to the wall and seeing what sticks. And I almost like it for that just raw, insane level. I, I, of course, I, I can't say, I can't give this a good review at all. I can't recommend it. Um, Unless you're a hardcore Maze Runner fan, I cannot recommend this at all. It wasn't nearly entertaining enough to, to work on that uh, self-serious parody level. 
<sighs> yeah, it's just bad, and there's... There's, like, no... Like, the only character I liked was the only character I liked from the first one, Miho. Um, he's the only guy I'm really interested in. Um, it's... <sighs> I feel like they could they need to do a lot more with the characters, especially Thomas. Thomas, I feel there's so much of a blank slate with him. Although God, he's much better than Teresa. God, Teresa. It's like they let's have a girl character and she's gonna look exactly like Bella Swan. Let's throw her in here, because you know, Bella Swan was the main character in YA novels, in the Twilight YA novels, and this is a YA novel, so we need to throw her in there. We're gonna throw together a whole bunch of YA novel stuff. And, you know, I guess Bella is a blank slate, so Teresa's going to be a blank slate. And they don't do anything with her in the first one. They do something with her in the second one. And it sure as hell doesn't develop her character. She does something. I have no idea where it comes from. And it's... Uh, spoiler? Uh, yeah, we'll go into spoilers. She totally turns them in. Ah! Anything else you want to talk about since I went ahead and threw us into spoilers? The spiders! The spiders! They were so big! Well, that was only the first one, though. We had zombies in the second one. Yes. And the third one, we're going to get superheroes. We are? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that I feel like at this point, they're just like, okay, we have a YA series that's popular. Let's just throw everything else that's popular at this thing and see what sticks. That is, <laughs> that is what this feels like. Oh, my God. Um... And like I said, it's almost entertaining as a self-serious parody. It's just not there. It looks like we've been talking for 12 hours. <laughs> we've been talking for 12 minutes. Although, I, I, I can't say I have any more thoughts about this. It's, it's bad. It's not so bad. It's good, though. And that's almost what need to hit when it's this bad. Um, so bad, it's good. Or One more parody. Mm-hmm. It's that if you watch both of these in one day, you're going to get sleepy. Yeah, well, it's pretty late. We, She needs to go to bed. She has a spelling test tomorrow, and she has to wake up in, like, eight hours. Poor girl. I'm sorry, honey. But, you know, I wanted to make this video. It's a knee-jerk reaction. Gotta get it to you quickly. So, yeah. I say skip this one. What do you say? What do you say? I'm, I'm saying skip this movie. What are you saying? Do you think people should skip it or go see it? I think they should go see it. <laughs> Experience the the nonsense firsthand. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Uh, what is it? Next week's Hotel Transylvania 2, so we'll probably get that to you. Um, yeah. Uh, real quick, I had a video update a couple days ago, so if you saw that, this is good. Just rerunning that information. Um... YouTube really isn't letting me post up my uh, really heavily edited content, like my top five list, like I would like them to be posted. So if you'd like to see those as they are, I've been looking for a way to monetize them on my website. I have not found any way. So the way to get those when they come out is you have to become a patron of me, of my channel. And it's only one dollar, just one dollar. And then you can get uh, full access to my Vimo channel. And... If I can figure out a way to monetize views and post those videos to my website, that will be what I do. But for right now, this is the only way I can think of to actually get those videos monetized and get them up. I hate charging for content, but YouTube is not letting me um, run the channel the way I want it. And if Alex is here, hi! <laughs> uh, that's it. We're, I, I, I've yacked for too long. Need to go get eggs, need to get you home so you can go to bed. So, night night. Bye. Aww. I don't know why I said night night. I'm going to post this in the afternoon. <laughs>if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe that helps me out a lot and if you really love this video consider visiting my patreon page 